guys welcome back to another episode of the ball fake podcast if you're watching on youtube make sure to like subscribe and support our new movement by putting let's go viral in the comment section but if you're listening on apple Podcasts or spotify make sure to give us a five star rating and a nice review but without further ado here are your hosts nicely chunga benny and greg king What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Ball Fake Podcast. Today, we're gonna do something a little bit new and a little bit different. We're gonna introduce a new segment to our podcast and everything. This is gonna be called NBA Drama. And as you guys can see by the title, we're gonna talk about, you know, Kevin Durant and Draymond Green's conversation on, you know, Draymond Green's new podcast, Chips. Um, obviously, you know, Kevin Durant and Draymond Green, they've had a bit of a rocky relationship to a certain degree. Um, you know, at least, in the portrayal of the media and everything and you know there was a topic on the, the podcast discussing was katie's dispute with draymond green a big reason as to why you know kevin durant left golden state and everything and greg i want to kind of hear your thoughts on this entire situation yeah i thought first of all i thought the interview was i like seeing these interviews because you see these players in a different light they're just talking basketball talk about life issues and stuff like and how they communicate on the court it gives you a kind of like an insight so that's for that's first and foremost but him talking about the war situation and their relationship i mean the argument the arguments that they had it was really some of the words that Draymond Green said yes they were wrong and they were and he apologized for that um and should apologize for that and they should have hashed it out right then and there but it just didn't happen that way but it's the way the interesting part for me is the way the Warriors hand, handled it that's the that's what got me in the interviews right how, how the Warriors management handled it where they kind of kind of arrogant kind of like kind of kind of like brushed it off when they like stuff like that the chemistry matters and when when two players are beefing and they're not seeing eye to eye it's going to spill over to the court so i thought that the warriors management the way that katie and, and draymond too because he's currently with the warriors he's talking bad about bob myers i think that's funny um <laughs> and interesting to me so the fact that they should have just hashed it out right then and there it was an interesting interview i liked it yeah i mean i i think in all honesty just judging by like you know narratives with the nba and everything i personally felt that kevin durant was leaving regardless yeah i just feel like you know that dispute kind of gave him a better you know opportunity to give that a reason as to why he left or at least kind of you know manipulate people into thinking that necessarily but you know what i mean as as a former athlete i know like specifically a basketball athlete i already know like you know you get into disputes with your teammates and stuff all the time but i do think that it is funny that you know they both are the ones that you know are kind of blaming the front office and you know the head coach and steve kerr for you know them not handling this situation correctly because really i think one thing that people fail to realize as like nba fans is the main job for your head coach is to manage egos yeah. and to be honest with you steve kerr really has not done a great job of doing that and i don't really think I that agree. draymond green is a guy that's all in favor of steve kerr and then you know bob myers i think the front office is a little bit arrogant i mean like some of the decisions that they've made you know these last four to five years kind of been a little bit questionable but i mean what, what are your thoughts final points on you know this entire subject i mean and then the, i don't I, I agree with all your points right there but i want to add to that with the media the the way ESPN and all these all these media outlets, sports outlets, and they talk about these players. They try to make it seem like these players hate each other. Draymond, Draymond and Katie are cool off the court. It seems like they have a great relationship. They just talk about life. I, I like to see that. So I like so I want to debunk that stuff because stuff like that is like these guys like even Draymond's cool with LeBron and other players like these guys are these guys are ultimate competitors but when it's off the court they're just regular people like us so I like seeing interviews like that where they can just chop it up and talk about you know stuff that's happened on the court right and you know what i hope to see actually you know more content similar to you know this type of topic and everything because you know it would like to be this is going to be really cool you know seeing the behind the scenes with you know certain conversations you know how certain players feel about certain people within organizations and you know just their opinions on basically everything basketball related i really had a fun time you know just listening and you know hearing both of these guys talk about each talking point and everything but i mean uh let us know what you guys think in the comment section thank y'all so much for tuning in to another segment this is a new segment called nba drama with the ball fake podcast we greatly appreciate all you guys love and support thank you so much for you know tuning in with us once again but other than that it's your boy nicey chunga benny i'm here with my co-host greg king and we out we out <laughs>